I'm an artist in the making. You guys should see my drawings. If you are standing for this one, please sit down. Drum roll, please. <laughs> subscribe and join the family also you can binge watch and catch up on my previous videos so for today's video as the title says I'll be telling you guys things that have been keeping me busy during this quarantine and what I've been up to during this quarantine just to pass time and you know learn new skill and stuff initially the video that I wanted to shoot was um, me suggesting things that you guys would do during quarantine but guys we've been in quarantine since forever and i'm sure you guys have figured it all out so i decided to instead um share with you guys what have been what i have been doing during this quarantine and what has been keeping me busy so number one um i've learned to read the bible on a daily basis and my relationship with god has become stronger i've become closer to god not that i wasn't um not that i didn't have a relationship with god so to speak i had a relationship with god obviously i'm christian and oh i read the bible once in a while like yeah underlying once in a while so during this quarantine i've learned to read the bible as i said on a daily basis <clears throat> there's this um website on google i don't know if i can quote a website but you can search for the rafford mango and they are like bible verses like 30 bible passages which is like for every day like 30 days in a month so what i do is i read a verse each day initially i started with reading two verses like i read one in the morning and i read one in the evening but i found it easier for me to like read one verse each day so what i'll do is i'll find time during the day to read the bible before then i used to find it difficult to read the bible because i'll just like get my good news bible and open the book of sirach sirach is my favorite book of all time so it's like today you read sirach tomorrow sirach and maybe once in a blue moon matthew so i wasn't really like reading the bible as i was supposed to so um i learned to read the bible every day and it's really been helpful i find time to be in the presence of god and also what helps me the most is i love listening to trace gospel trace music on dstv if you don't have trace gospel you can like use any music that puts you in the spirit any music that uh, motivates you or puts you in the presence of god any music that ministers to you like i usually um learn to find time with god because looking at my relationship with god now it's stronger than it was before also um just reading the bible as i said i've learned to read the bible on a daily basis mostly i'll just look at sirach and matthew and some other books in the new testament but now i can read verses from the old testament and what i've learned is that um, mostly we tend to complain most of the time we're always complaining but what i've learned through reading the bible is that we should also learn to thank god it's not always that we should be asking god for, for things so sometimes let's just thank god for what we have the fact that we are here today the fact that i'm here today with you guys and on your screens is because of god's favor and god's love so we should learn to be thankful in all circumstances the bible always tells us be thankful be grateful in all circumstances not some circumstances some circumstances but all circumstances so it has just also given me like time to appreciate god and to thank god for the things that he continues to do for us to thank god for his favor for his abundance and for his blessings okay guys like i could go on and on so we'll leave this here and it will be a topic for another day secondly i have developed a reading culture as you can see i've got some books here with me i'm not one to read like i'm a very bad reader i'll start reading a book today and never look at it ever again but i'm happy to say that i've um, developed a reading culture and i'm slowly getting there a couple of years back i read i read i read i read the weight by devon franklin and megan good they're actually a married couple and it's a very good book as it says here the weight it talks about patience in every day of your life in your relationships in your careers in your businesses like being patient and waiting and also the things to do whilst you are waiting there's so 
so much that you can do whilst you're waiting for an answer from God, whilst you're waiting for an answer from an employer or anything that you are waiting for. It's very important to be patient. No one loves waiting. I too don't love waiting, but we just have to exercise patience and wait and see what the next chapter of our life holds. Secondly, this year, so this one was from a couple of years back. This year, early this year, I read Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. This is a very good book. Personally, I love self-help books. So this book really helped me. Like, it, it talks about, like, um, going for your goals. Don't care about what people tell you. If someone tells you, you can't do it. I also said, like, say this, I think, in my previous video. Don't listen to what people say. Regardless of what you do, people will always talk. Whether you do good, people will always talk. Whether you do bad, people will always talk. So just do you. whatever makes you feel happy if it doesn't work you try something else and it's a very good book i would recommend it any day of the week and i think it also talked about the time where she gave birth like you know how when we women give birth like our bodies just go berserk and then become fat and all it also talks about loving yourself the way you are loving your body and just doing you at the end of the day moving on so i think march i started this book big god bigger problems and I didn't really go further with it because my sister, like, I don't know where she took it and it, she misplaced it. So I, like, lost track. And whilst I was, like, still, whilst we're still trying to look for this book, I came across this one, How to Develop Self-Confidence and Influence People by Public Speaking. This is the current book that has me hooked. I read a chapter a day. For me, what I feel, if you're, like, learning to read, like, if you want to become a good reader, like, reading on a regular... I think what has worked for me is that I read a chapter a day and if the chapter is interesting obviously I'll read two chapters a day but if you're starting like just try and start with one chapter a day then you see how that goes this is a very good book and it has helped me I've always loved to talk I've always loved to be in the public eye and it has just helped me with everything that's going on like my youtube channel how to speak and yeah so I think you can like join me and become at least an affluent reader or something the third one is i've been doing like driving lessons this has been like on my bucket list for the longest of times i procrastinated for a very long time on when i'm going to get my driver's license or my provisional license if i was speaking the truth i would have learned how to drive in 2014 but you know like i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it another day today is not a good time procrastinating and i'm saying ah maybe not today today if you've watched my previous video you're going to relate to what i'm talking about so i took a step and i was deliberate so sometime in march mid-march i decided to like get the what's this what's this called Two thousand years later. The highway code, yeah. And then I had to learn the signs. I already knew the ten basic rules of dry driving, so I had to learn the signs. I learned that like I gave myself like three to four days to learn the signs. And I went for the test and I passed the test. I was given my provisional license. So right now, um I'm just like taking driving lessons and my sister is my instructor. Guys, you should see how when I'm driving. Like whenever I'm turning, she like even holds the car like that's how scared she is if anything she's always stepping on her imaginary brakes and giving me all sorts of lectures i'm like girl i got this like just relax and believe in me yeah so i've been doing driving lessons and so far so good i'm hoping to get my license sometime in june so fingers crossed and the fourth one is i've been like perfecting my baking i would bake sometime back i would bake scones um i would make buns i would make fritters and i hadn't learned how to make a cake sometime in december 2018 i baked a chocolate cake guys like i had the high-end baking whatever what can i say baking products baking things like i had them i had the nice flour the cocoa i wanted to bake a chocolate cake 
didn't I ruin them? Like my dough was so hard, I put it to the brim on the cake pan and it's not supposed to be like two, it's supposed to be like half. My cake was hard, it was spilling, guys, I cried. Like it was a sorrowful sight. And knowing me, if you've, if you've watched my previous video, you're going to know that everything I put myself to, if I say this is going to be done today, then it should be done today. I started afresh, I started to bake afresh. I'm going to insert the pictures of all these things so that you guys should see where I come from. And it wasn't bad, but I'd like to say I've improved on my baking. I can bake a red velvet cake and I can bake a chocolate cake. So if you've got a birthday, a function or anything, holla at your girl. I can also do muffins, so I'll just insert pictures for you right there. And that was that, number four. The fifth one is like I exercise, not really like going out and going for a road run like in the house i do squats i do push-ups i do press-ups and just like you know trying to get that booty and all but yeah i've been doing that and the sixth one is guys i'm an artist in the making you guys should see my drawings if you're standing for this one please sit down so here's the thing i used to draw back in high school but then it was just like cartoons action figures but now i'm trying to draw like real human beings and you know with real human beings you have to get like their expression if they're smiling if they have got wrinkles if they're, you know you have to get all that detail so i'm on that part where i'm learning to draw like real humans and the first picture that i drew of course was of myself i'll just insert it here for you guys to see and this is like the joy drum roll please <laughs> okay guys like this is the drawing i like to call her jenita because obviously she doesn't look like me the lips i don't know how many times i rub the lips and just to get the perfect one so this is what i settled with but then for this second handsome fellow i will just insert the picture here i'll give you guys like a chance to guess who this person is i won't give any clues before because if I give clues, I'll give it away. So I'll just insert the picture here. And you guys can comment in the comment section below who you think this handsome gentleman is. And yeah, and you can also rate me on both links. Like out of 10, you can give me your rating so that I should know how I'm doing. I should know where to improve and whatnot. So yeah, I think those are the things that have been keeping me busy during this quarantine. And feel free to comment in the comment section below things that have been keeping you busy during this quarantine and share. Maybe I can learn one or two things and maybe you too can learn one or two things from what I have said. And also, side note, my birthday will be coming up soon. So maybe I might just take you guys along through the baking process and all. So yeah, fingers crossed on that one we've come to the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe and join the family don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up comment in the comment section below share it with somebody and yeah i will see you guys in my next video